defend the Constitution of our country. For the safety and the comfort of those around you, we ask that you remain in place until our distinguished guests have left the reviewing stand and departed the area. Restroom facilities are located in the buildings on either side of the parking lot, and during this morning ceremony, smoking and the consumption of alcoholic beverages is not permitted. Please be cautious when ascending and descending the bleachers. Please use handrails when available and watch for tripping, slipping, and falling hazards. Finally, please do not go onto the grassy areas when taking photos during the ceremony. The flights before you today are named after Air Force pioneers who have made significant contributions to our enlisted heritage. They have a special meaning to all airmen, especially those who are transitioning from civilians to warrior airmen of character. Today's graduates make up these heritage flights and will continue to shape our Air Force. And now I'd like to take a moment to inform you on the specific flight locations on the parade field. As viewed from the bleachers, from your left to your right. The first four heritage flights to pass for review today are from the 323rd Training Squadron Blue, Roy, Cody, and Mavis Flight. Next are Airy, Wright, Barnes Flight from the 322nd Training Squadron. In the center of the parade field is the 737th Training Group's Drum and Breeder Corps Murray Flight from the 321st Training Squadron. The flight selected to carry our national, state, and territorial flags is from the 320th Training Squadron, McCoy Flight, followed by Gaylord Flight from the 322nd Training Squadron. They are followed by Andrews and Parrish Flight from the 320th Training Squadron. The last four flights to pass the review today are from the 331st Training Squadron, Kisling, Peterson, Finch, and Smith Flight. At this time, please find a place to sit, thank you, and enjoy today's ceremony. So when you come to the place, you can make sure you can Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the entrance of our official party. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain McCafferty. Please join me. Almighty God, we thank you for this happy occasion that brings us together as fellow airmen, leaders, families, and friends. We rejoice with these graduates on this special day of achievement and celebration. We ask for your blessing on these young men and women who have worked many difficult weeks given so much of themselves to arrive at this moment. Thank you for their families and the sacrifices they have made to make this day possible. We ask that you would fill their hearts with pride as they witness the fruit of their labor. We also pray that you would give to their leaders and instructors a sense of accomplishment for their faithful and dedicated service to these graduates. Grant these airmen strength that they may remain steadfast in the causes of truth, justice, and freedom. And may they always bring honor to the Air Force, to their families, and to themselves. This we ask in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain McCafferty. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's basic military training graduation parade. We would like to introduce our distinguished guest beginning with the host for today's ceremony. The Commander, Air Force Basic Military Training, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Colonel Jason Carruthers. The Superintendent, Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Hope Skibisky. Today's reviewing officer is the Vice Commander, 24th Air Force, Deputy Commander, Air Force Cyber, and Deputy Commander, Joint Forces Headquarters, Cyber, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas, Brigadier General Mitchell Budakopper, accompanied by his wife, Leslie. <laughs> Although time does not permit us to introduce all of our distinguished guests, the 737 Training Wing is proud to welcome each of you. We hope that you enjoy today's ceremony. The airmen that will pass in review have completed a demanding seven and a half week program that provides Air Force units throughout the world with trained airmen. Part of this training includes time proven concepts that military customs and traditions, of which this parade is a vital part. 
All graduating airmen will also march over the enlisted hero's walk. They will lead the way for thousands of airmen that will follow, all reflecting on our enlisted heritage, tradition of honor, and legacy of valor. Our commander of airmen is Technical Sergeant Jared Harris, military training instructor, 320th Training Squadron. General Budokoffer will review today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the national anthem.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of Ruffles and Flourishes.
Senator Merriman is Federal Sergeant Jared Harrison. Military training instructor, Three Point Transporter, Old Town, Jackson, Mississippi. Our Three Point First Training Squadron, the German Field Force, represented Chief Master on the Air Force Number 14, Murray Squad. Led by Central Sergeant Kendra, the Star of Old Town, South Carolina, and Central Sergeant Zachary Brown, Old Town, Park Island, Illinois.
three, four, five, ten, deep pass over here, four, number eight, air flight. Led by triple star Jonathan Hobson, hometown Fort Lewis, Washington. Thousands of airmen citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the United States. 
States military and even smaller percentage in the United States Air Force. You should be proud of their accomplishments thus far. The Airmen before you have reached a milestone in their Air Force journey and will require your continued support to assist them in their future endeavors. These Airmen are the future of our Air Force and will pave the way for future generations of Airmen as we continue to fly, fight, and win.
General Budakoffer will now come forward to address our graduated airmen.
be seated. the bleachers and while moving onto the grassy areas for your safety we also ask that you only use the stairs to exit the bleachers all airmen are now released to their visitors thank you for your attendance and enjoy the rest of your stay at joint base san antonio Lackland, texas